Hopefully you got the idea that you shouldn't do hybrid autopilot from the other video I did on the subject. But that doesn't mean that cloud-only autopilot never fails. There are plenty of ways for you to mess that up too. For example, the enrollment status page. This is a great way to give users an idea of how their device is progressing through its autopilot process. You can specify the device must install some critical applications before it can progress to the next step and let a user log in. Let's take a look at what I mean. From the Intune Admin Center, we simply head to Devices, Enroll Devices, and Enrollment Status Page. From here, we can create a new Enrollment Status Page. Let's quickly do that. I'll call it ESP, and choose Next. And from here, we can enable it. So right now, it's set to Disabled. We won't show App and Profile Configuration Progress. We choose Yes. And now we can specify a few things. I'm going to go through these one by one with you just really quickly. We can show an error if the installation, in this case Autopilot, takes longer than the specified number of minutes, 60 minutes. Now if Autopilot takes longer than 60 minutes, there could be a couple of things happening here. Firstly, it might be a very slow connection and the download of the applications that you've, installed, that you've specified is just taking longer. Also, it could have crashed or broken in some way and there might be an error hidden somewhere in the in the background that's just not going to let this move on, so it needs to fail. And in this case, we can just show an error to the user to say actually that went wrong. So we can also show a custom message when that happens, so we can change this default message to say something better and more customized to your organization or your users. We can then turn on some log collection, for example, and specify whether this will show for all enrollments or just for ones that are done via autopilot or through the out-of-box experience. And then the important question, which is on by default, block device use until all apps and profiles are installed. That sounds like a very good idea. We don't want someone to use the device until all of the stuff we've deployed to it is ready to go. Great. However, what if we are deploying hundreds of applications? What if we're deploying even 15, 20 applications. That's gonna take quite a long time to install. And if that takes longer than 60 minutes, if we've previously set 60 minutes to be the timeout, then it's not gonna finish installing everything and will error after 60 minutes before it's finished and doesn't allow the user to log in. So this needs to be considered. So we could always just set no. In which case we don't have any control at all, we just allow the user to log in as soon as the device is physically able to be logged into, regardless of the applications or profile deployment. So the next best thing will be to choose yes and scroll down and actually read through the rest of the settings. So do we want the user to be able to reset the device if an error occurs? I would say that's probably a good idea because that will allow them to self-remediate self fix this problem by resetting the device. When they reset the device, it just goes back through the autopilot process anyway. So in most cases, that's gonna be a good idea. Do we want the user to be able to use the device if an installation error occurs? In my view, probably not. That's not a good idea to allow users to do. For example, if one of the applications that has failed is an antivirus application, then they're gonna be using that device without any protection at all. Or even worse, if the thing that has failed is the domain join or some, not that you should be doing a domain join at all in autopilot, good point. If the thing that has failed is something critical that will really transform the user experience, you're gonna let them use it even if that didn't work. Again, not a good idea. So in my case, I would choose no for this setting. Next, block device use until required apps are installed if they're assigned to the user or device. And here we can specify all, which means that we'd wait for all of the apps to be installed before they can use the device. Or what if we wanna be more specific? Let's say we choose selected and we select the applications that are critical to us. In my case, I know my users need Edge up to date as soon as they get on their device. I'm going to choose this. You could also choose some other critical applications, such as your antivirus solution 
or your VPN. We shouldn't, here, add all of the applications that we're deploying. We probably shouldn't choose all, because if we choose all and deploy lots and lots of applications to the device, then if any of those applications fail or if the device is a little bit slow to get through its process, the users are going to be waiting a long, long time to get into their device, and that's probably not a good idea. The only thing we need to do is select those critical applications that we want to install on this device and block the device until those critical applications are installed. Now bear in mind, when we choose selected and then select the applications in this list, this does not actually specify that these applications will be installed, or it doesn't specify that this ESP will choose these applications to install. This is just the ones that are marked as critical. You still need to actually deploy these applications to your device in order to get them to install on that device. See you next time.